Up to that point in the Maryland game, he had one of the most horrendous games that a kid of his ability could ever have. And then something turned on, and for him, if one thing turned on, then boom, all these things could turn on, and they did. And uh, he just, he could, he and the game can, could become one. Not many players can do that. We were coming out of the huddle, and it was one of those huddles where, you know, coach always had a good way about expressing that we always stay in the fight, right? Uh, we're never going to concede. We're always going to continue to fight all the way through, even if we lose. And he gave this great speech, and Shane Battier got us all in the huddle, and we're talking about how we're going to go into our full court press on the main shot. And uh, all of a sudden, it, I don't usually hear fans, but at that moment, I heard fans yelling overrated, right? And I said before, I was the guy I had to play angry. And for some reason, just hearing people say overrated, overrated, and Jay Williams, you suck, and it just got me pissed off, man. The crowd on their feet. Williams goes down the lane to lay it in. Duke can no longer stop the clock. 53-5 to go. It's an eight-point lead. Get a quick layup, and then I'll never forget Drew Nicholas, you know, he had this look on his face that he didn't really want the basketball, right? And we had fouled Steve Blake out at the time on that drive. And, and Drew got the ball, went to the corner, and I swiped down and got the ball, knocked down a three. And then you just saw that look in Maryland's eyes where they're like, oh man, like what's about to happen? And you fouled Drew Nicholas again. And trust me, the whole way down the court, Chris Duhon and I are yapping in his ear, like about, hey, this is gonna be short. Hey, this is gonna be long. He ain't ready to make this shot. He's not a big time player. He comes off the bench, Chris, right? We know Scott, I mean, we were talking to him the whole time and he missed the shot. He missed both shots. Missed them both. Duhon with a rebound. It's a five-point game. Duke has the ball. Do you believe what you're seeing? Oh. Yes, it's another three. It's a two-point game. And then came down the screen and roll again. I'll never forget. Shane's like, hey, I'm going to headhunt your man. Just come off me and let it fly. Right? That's, again, your teammate after a horrible game, right, telling you, let it fly. And Danny Miller closed out to me with his hands down. And as soon as I saw his hands down, I'm like, hey, man, this thing is going up. And it goes up and it goes in. And it's like all of a sudden it's a two-point ball game. And everybody in that gym was like, what just happened? Dixon into the lane. Oh, Danny blocks it. Unbelievable. Williams with the ball. Wow. It's the most remarkable wow. comeback I have ever seen. The best part about that game was we come back, the game goes into OT, we win. And Shane Batty, and this is one of the best things about Shane Batty and about that team. We're gonna win that game, right? And it's a miraculous comeback, and everybody talks about it. But Shane Batty says, hey, listen, nobody celebrate. Let's walk off the court. We expect you to come back and win this game. That's how we have to hold ourselves, to that high of a standard. And that was the best feeling, walking off that court and shaking their hand, it's been like, yep, okay. Next game.